Hello YouTube, this is Vacuum Rad 8 today and today we're just going to do the conclusion to Vintage Week um, February 2021 uh, Basically we've been using this Hoover Commercial Dual Purpose for the week, swapped it out for the modern technology to see how well this 19, I think it's 1994 or 1995 um, Move a commercial machine. This is quite actually a rare machine actually in, in the UK because generally they didn't have these type of machines um, ready available. These are more styled of the US ones. I think these actually are made in the USA. Um, so it's done a good job this week. Um, overall, there was a couple of little gripes with it was the lack of suction power of the hose because this one uses dirty air opposed to um clean air um but it did its job i mean some of the bigger bits it couldn't really suck up um this machine generally is used for cleaning carpets i mean this one was probably used in a hotel or maybe a school uh, it's amazing that it's still running pretty well um so i've actually um sort of oiled bearings best i could um, the brush roll bearing, we did have a little bit of a squeal, but I think it's the the belt more than anything. When you first start it up, but it's not being used for a while, it squeals, it runs, then it makes it look a little squeal, and then it's fine. Uh, I'll try to trace that. The brush roll bearings are fine. I'll pack them back up with grease again, all nice and free. Um, but it's it just the way it is, and um, at the end of the day, it's 30 odd, you, you know, it's 30 years old almost. So, uh, there we go, really. So, this machine is a great machine, actually, to use. Um, to kick off a Vintage Week 2021, it was quite a good carpet cleaner indeed. It also was very good on the hard floors. There was no beta bar to worry about. Um, generally, height right, I had to do between two and three. Um, three for the like the more softer plusher pile of carpets opposed to the uh the two on the normal ones i mean it just depends on how deep we want to clean it i think well let's have a quick look in the bag and see what we sucked up this week it's quite a fair the bag is fairly filled i mean this is only a week's worth here look believe it or not look that's a week's worth of dirt in there um being home the house just gets a lot dirtier um plus as well we're going to do a quick sound test meter with this one just f for you guys to work to think how um noisy it so what is what Carl's going to do now we're just going to switch it on and do a sound meter test just to give an idea how noisy it actually really is the switch is on the other side isn't it So the current UK standard for vacuum cleaners um, under the EU regulations is 80 decibels. So this one was peaking between around 80, between 86 and 88. Um, probably as well. So it's not that noisy really at the end of the day. It's quite a, a low hum. It's not like a high pitched scream like a lot of these modern ones are like, you know, these very cheap sort of like um, shopping um supermarket style vacuums so it's uh not too noisy actually uh, not as quiet as a modern machine but then as well it is it's had a fair whack of use um what i like about this one as well being a commercial sh machine it can have disposable bags opposed to the a lot of the senior ones have shakeout bags um it would have been a good idea to team it up possibly with a cylinder vacuum i think because uh, it did struggle a bit um, sucking up some of the bigger stuff. Um, but it has had an absolute fantastic test this week. I'm um, glad we got this one out to uh, give it a whiz. 
I'm going to have to try and maybe source um, a, a belt for the thing. I think it's got an original um, hoover belt on it. So maybe we're going to have to hopefully find something to fit. I have to do some research and find a belt to fit. So uh, going on about the modern technology, we'll get the modern technology out now and we'll just see um, if the um, V11 has got better suction. So I've had to pretty much deep clean the whole machine of these. Um, both of these really, um, not actually maintaining them for two months and having some pretty nasty stuff. Um, so the bins, I've had to wipe them out as best I can. I used a packet of, um, I think some antibacterial wipes actually. Um, at least they're a bit more ready available now. So we're sort of getting back to using them again. Um, but I would um, like to focus on that really, because the problem is, once you wipe the seals nice and clean, quite often they stick. Um, this one's notorious for it actually, the V10 and V11, the way the chute works on it. If these are not correctly lubricated, um, it affects the bin quite a bit. So we, I've actually done a video showing you how to um, lubricate the seals. Um, you, you dry lubricate them basically. And it does, it has fixed it because basically when I cleaned it all out and all the seals is nice and clean and dry, it wasn't even working and I lubricated them and they're all good again. So this one, you can do that with this one as well. Um, Are you just doing this with it? And the brush bar as well. The other thing I would maintain is also uh, wipe this seal off because this one, obviously if there's anything grime in there, you could get some um some seepage from the dust um as well the brush bars as well with these this one is fairly easy to do um you need to get some wipes in here and clean them um also you need to take this one out at least once a month or if you've got pets and that i'd say every two weeks or if you've got a plush carpets every couple of weeks mainly because you find that these get gummed up around here inside where the shaft is and that will obviously affect the um the performance of the machine because obviously it's got to work a bit harder maybe the battery may not last as long this one was exactly the same but the only way there's quite a small gap between that so you need something long so i use nickname this from big boy this one this is my big boy <laughs> so, so you basically put a wipe on the end of there and you and you go around like that. Try not to scratch it, wrap, wrap it around, wrap a couple of wipes around there. You could possibly you know, tape them in as well, just to get the um, the dirt out around the top. So uh, yeah, so back to modern technology again. Um, I would emphasize as well, believe it or not. So this filter here actually took four days to dry. Um, I actually had it in like a bowl, like an old, bowl with water in it and it stood up there soaking in there overnight flush this here through i actually used a little bit of um detergent on it um i've done a fair bit of filter restoration before and i've just found that um aerial the aerial color is very good on that and you sort of go like that to agitate it a little bit and it Seems to clean it and you massage it with your fingers. Well, I wouldn't recommend to do that all the time. Plus as well, I had to soak it again for an hour or two just to get the soap residue out of it um, to make it as clean as it can. So it's come up surprisingly clean compared to what it was like. So it was a nightmare. So so finally Dyson now are giving out two filters um, with the V10, um, which is great. Um, like I say, four days in the winter to dry this. If this was your main vacuum and you never had anything else, would you leave your vacuum for four days and not clean the floors for four days? The answer is no. You'd probably put this one back damp inside and it would just block up straight away. Because that's what happens when these filters get damp, they just clog straight away. So you thoroughly need to keep these completely dry. So well, um, so in about four or five weeks, we'll, uh, we'll pick another vacuum out of Carl's collection. Um, I'm not too sure which one's going to be yet. We're going to maybe have a little think about that one. And we'll also check the um, how well these modern machines are getting on. Um, performance of both these machines are very good. 
like I say, if you don't maintain the, the, the cordless stick vac, then that's that's the one that gets affected more than the mains powered one. Um, you know, it's more of a high performance um, setup. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Vacuum Matic and see you again on another video. And what do you say now, Kyle? Bye. Bye for now. And please subscribe to Vacuum Matic. Bye.